South Africa and Israel are signatories to the 1948 Genocide Convention. All countries that sign the convention are obliged to not only not commit genocide, but also to prevent and in fact punish it. Pretoria says it's going to the World Court as it's concerned with the plight of civilians in the present Israeli attacks on the Gaza Strip due to the indiscriminate use of force and forcible removal of inhabitants. The people of Palestine today are being bombed, they are being killed, and there is apartheid there in Israel today, and we were duty-bound to stand up and support the Palestinians. And that is why we have taken the government of Israel to the International Court of Justice because there is genocide in Israel. And we do this, comrades. We do this, and some people say it's risky. We are a small country. We are a small economy. But Israeli leaders say they are ready to defend themselves at The Hague and that their plan is to eliminate Hamas and dismantle its military capability. On Thursday, a proceeding will start in the International Court of Justice in The Hague, whereby the South Africa has sued Israel for supposedly genocide. There's nothing more atrocious and preposterous than this claim. Actually, our enemies, the Hamas, in their charter, call for the destruction and annihilation of the state of Israel, the only nation state of the Jewish people. The Convention Against Genocide was uh, enacted by the international community following the worst atrocities of humankind, the Shoah, the Holocaust, which was aimed specifically against the Jews, the Jewish people, in order to eliminate the Jewish race, the Jewish people. In Hamas's charter, it's almost identical in many, many ways. And here, with the hypocrisy of South Africa, we will be there in the International Court of Justice and pre will present proudly our case Jordan's King Abdullah says Israel's brutal war creates a generation of orphans in Gaza. How many times have we said never again, only to find ourselves facing another conflict rooted in hatred and dehumanization? Almost 30,000 Gazans have been killed or unaccounted for over the past three months. The overwhelming majority nearly 70% are women and children. More children have died in Gaza than in all other conflicts around the world this past year. Of those who have survived, many have lost one or both parents, an entire generation of orphans. How can indiscriminate aggression and shelling bring peace? How can they guarantee security when they build on hatred. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has also been engaged in shuttle diplomacy in the Middle East to deal with the conflict. Washington, D.C.'s top diplomat has met with a number of leaders in Jordan, Qatar, the UAE and Saudi Arabia. Kyle Le Kumalo, SABC News, Johannesburg. Minister of Correctional uh, Justice and Correctional Services Ronald Lamola spoke to SABC News last night ahead of his trip to The Hague. He says South Africa has a strong case against Israel. I think we have a very capable team. Um, we obviously cannot preempt the court's uh, role and outcome, but we believe we have um, assembled uh, a capable team. And we've also um, submitted very strong evidence for the court to, to consider. The international community collectively support that the, the genocide currently happening in uh, Gaza must be stopped. Uh, and there are also specific countries on their own that um, support the, the call by South Africa in the court, which um, we think is a good thing because it does need um, a collective voice of the global community.